How you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. We are back again with some more Negro League baseball stories. Um, next one's going to be Hilton Smith. I haven't heard much about this guy, so I'm really interested in getting to this. But without further ado, let's hop into it. Hailing from Giddings, Texas, is one of the greatest pitchers you likely never heard of. Hilton Lee Smith. Hilton Smith was a great pitcher, primarily for the Kansas City Monarchs. And Hilton Smith pitched alongside the legendary Satchel Paige, and they were polar opposites. When Satchel walked in the room, oh, the room lit up. Oh, you knew he was in the room. And if you didn't know, he was going to let you know that he was in the room. Hilton Smith was the exact opposite, very quiet, very workmanlike, unassuming, but just as lethal. Possessing what many believe to be the greatest curveball this sport has ever seen. Hilton Smith was indeed the truth. All right, let's hop and do it. Hilton Smith. Hey, I haven't heard much about this guy. But it sounds like he was pretty, pretty good. All right, pitch one inning. Don't give up one run. We should be able to do that pretty easily. Now the left fielder, Harvey. So they got a good curveball, so we're going to feature that a lot. And a bunt towards third. Scoops it up barehanded. Thank you. Nicely done for the out. Now the number two hitter, Marshall. And that's in there for strike one. They have those uh, high 90s fastball, too, which is... What we're going to rely on. That sounded like that could have been a home run. There we go. Hmm. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Great story about how he started his career. In 1931, he beat a former Negro League pitcher named Willie Owens, who recommended him to a semi-pro team, the Austin Black Senators. They signed him up. Pretty easy. Hop into the next one. I guess there was no story there. Just hop right into it. Here's the shortstop at the play, Murray. Next pitch has popped up. No Give me that. Here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Doesn't he strike anybody out? Nope. That pitch two innings. In one game for the Monarchs in 1936, but in 37, he led them with 11 wins, including nine at home in Kansas City. Taylor batting with one down, takes the strike. No. Next one. I would like them to put the ball in play, and make it go a little bit faster. He lost only twice, and he had easily the highest WAR of any player in the Negro American League. And there we go. The win while striking out three batters in the East West All Star game. And now it's going to be Hayes. First offering, and it just misses. Here's Some pretty nice stadiums. It's like playing like the back somebody's freaking development. It's pretty cool looking. Out of the infield twice the whole game. That's overwhelming stuff. Smith wheels and deals. That misses the zone. Uh, oh, a slider. Swings and misses. Struck him out. We go to the ninth. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Smith. And there's the strike. Fastball still good. Next offering is in for a strike. Smith just two outs from locking up the win. Now it's gonna be Glass. Swings through that one. Guess they're not putting it in play this time either. Oh well. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Bye bye. Oh my god. Way upstairs. Just 
missed off the outside edge. So a change up. Up the middle. Boots it. That's not it. Come on, bro. That's not a hit, though. But come on, dude. Well, that may end up being an at bat. We go back to later on when this game is over. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot. All right, it's two outs. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Two away. Hughes in the box with two gone. And it takes a look oh, at a called strike. Next off. And then this should be strike three and bye bye. Nope. Bye bye. Smith kicks into Bye bye. Foul ball still one and two count. All right, slider. Bye bye. Come on, dude. Why are you doing this? Just strike out. There we go. Thank you. Greatest curveball ever. Let's see. Buck O'Neill believed that Hilton Smith had the greatest curveball this sport has ever seen. The legendary Monty Irvin would go on to say that it was the greatest curveball that he had the displeasure of ever trying to hit. He threw the big 12 to 6 breaker, and he threw what he called a tight curveball where he would drop down three quarters, and he threw it all with pinpoint control. As a matter of fact, Monty Irvin would go on to say that you could know where his curveball was coming from, and the break and bite on it was so sharp, you still couldn't hit it. All right, you got to strike out two batters and pitch two innings. Shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. Inside corner for a strike. And this one is off and running. The old one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Best curve whatever to see what we got. Woo! Smith goes to the hammer curve for the K. At the play. Taylor. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That breaking stuff from Hilton Smith is just so tough to hit. Sammy Hughes was a star in the Negro Leagues, and he said he'd rather face Satcher than Smith because of how sharp Hilton's breaking All right, let's go to that slider. Slider gets the K for Hilton Smith. All right, we got our strike off. Now we've got a push to innings. In there, and it's 0-1. Siggy, who had the best breaking stuff of anyone you had to face in your career? No curve. I'd say Pedro Martinez's hey. slider was pretty devastating. The 0-2 oh, oh, from Hill. Strike. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Come on. There we Hill go. Gets a whip on the slur. New inning, get I want start. them to put the ball in play so I can get rid of some of these. That's in for a strike. Making me throw nine pitches every time. At least there we go. Drive, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That's all right. Don't play. That could be a dangerous pitch if you don't get it inside enough. Because as a hitter, you see it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting Damn. a swing on it that time. There's a swing and a drive. Oh. So up next, Bates. Okay. Uh in there for strike one didn't expect that to happen so that's interesting slice down the right side can be tough to bounce back after big home run but nobody that's not good out. you just have to treat it as a fresh inning looking for there the we go here's the catcher to hit Hughes As in misses at the initial All right. Board. Smith wheels and deals. That one the other way. Calls it in two away. All right, one more of those and we're out of here. 
15. Stands in now and watches strike one. Next offer. All right, buddy. Nice seeing you, bud. Have a great day. Next pitch just misses. And a count one and two. A slider here. There we go. Swing and a miss. And that's that. Two-way player. Hilton Smith was one of many great two-way stars in the Negro Leagues. And over recent times, we've become enamored by the nature of two-way stars, primarily because of the great success of Shohei Otani. Well, the Negro Leagues were filled with great two-way stars, and Hilton Smith was just one of many. And what made Hilton so special was when he wasn't pitching, he played the outfield and had a lifetime batting average over 300. Okay. Let's see if we can hit a home run. Just need two hits, I bet. Smith digging in now. All right, using the bat. That one pushed foul. Haven't hit in a while. Maybe the best season. Doing that statue page moment. Was 1941. He went 10 and 0 for Kansas City. A 153 ERA, and on top of that, he batted 353 and he slugged five. My time is all up. Next pitch is inside. One and two to count. You know, 1941 is a notable baseball year because it's the year Joe DiMaggio had his 56 game hitting streak. All right, nice little no, perfect, perfect. Can't, can't hurt, can't hurt. You can make a real argument that Hilton Smith had a better all around season than either of them. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That's about as textbook as it gets. There we go. Stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball. That was easy. Nice. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. 300 hitter. Oh, I guess there is no story for this one. We'll just hop right back into it then. Oh, just gotta get an extra base hit. Shouldn't be too bad. The two -way These stadiums are so nice. I'm really digging the stadiums. Damn! Woo! I'm going three just because why not? <laughs> Stand up triple, let's go. Perfect debut. His first game in Kansas City, his first full season with the Monarchs in 1937, what did Hilton Smith do? He only threw a perfect game. Yeah, he blanked the Chicago American Giants 4 to nothing. Hilton Smith had that great breaking ball and then a dominating fastball to go on top of it. You got to sit on his fastball and then you had virtually no chance of hitting his curveball. That went along with a repertoire of other great pitches, but the curveball was the pitch that really made Hilton Smith unhittable. They better not make me throw a perfect game. Like, I'm actually being serious. After it, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. All right. Nice easy out. Zips it to first and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Taylor in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Next nope. offering is down low. Two ball, no strike. 2-0 is in for a strike. 
He don't want to hit. He don't want to hit. Swings through that. Come on, get fastball. What are you gonna do with it? Same spot. Struck him Nothing. Swinging. Right by him. And now here is Hayes in there for strike one. Yeah, I forget they didn't wear helmets back then. Bye bye. In the air to left center. You got that, don't you? Yeah, good job. Makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, ready for the bottom of the eighth. Leading off, Smith. That clips a corner. All right, what's next? Next pitch inside, and it's one and one. Come on, umpire, give me that. Perfect game going on. Right side. Works. Looks it away, and there's one away. Um, we should be all right. Might go back to spamming fastballs again. Next offering is in for a strike. Our inside sinkers. They seem to struggle with that. Mm. I can't walk anybody. I need the strike here. And a strike on the outside edge. Outside in. There we go. Miss, struck him out. Smith still locked in with two gone now. And the batter now faints. Swings oh, through that one. Master. Strike down. This guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Devastating curveball. Can't touch it. He's not ready to pull the trigger. He's not worried if he gets to an 0 2. He don't want to hit, guys. He don't, he don't want to hit. Give me a fast. We don't want to hit. Get out of there. Now it appeal to first, and that's gonna be ruled a swing. They should wear suits again. We should bring that back. Here's the catcher, Hughes. I feel like I had the same three batters named every time. I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. Nice and easy. Just two more to get here. And a foul ball. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play. That one lifted to left, Sanders. That, that jump looked weird. All right. Come on, homer out. Number two. Pitch and that's in for a strike. Next offering is foul. Back. Ended with his best pitch. 12 6 curveball. Bye bye. That hits the dirt. On that again. Two strikes. Next one in the dirt. Just not going to swing, dude. Come on. Swing the bat, you bum. Consistent winner. Hilton Smith did something that I don't think we will ever see done in the game of baseball again. Hilton Smith won 20 games or more, 12 consecutive years. He goes six and one in exhibition games against Major League All-Stars. He was likely the best pitcher in all of baseball at that time who by the time that Jackie Robinson breaks Major League Baseball's color barrier, he realized that he was too old. The majors came calling, but he knew by that time he was too old to cross over that threshold and go into Major League Baseball. Pitch one inning, do not give up a run. I can do that. Harvey getting ready to hit and a pitch. Oh, people on base. All right. Did not know that. 
pressure situations like this. He shined at several East-West All-Star games, and he dominated the home state Rays over five shutout innings in Game 2 of the 1942 Negro League World Series. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Now here is Marshall. Smith kicks and delivers. And now it's crazy they weren't wearing helmets when freaking people like Satchel Page though on 105. That's ridiculous. There we go. Nice. Satchel Page's shadow. Hilton Smith earned a reputation as being Satchel Shadow, the legendary Satchel Page. He would oftentimes come in and relieve Satchel. Well, Satchel was the draw. So Satchel's gonna pitch two or three innings, and who came in and pitched the last six or seven? Hilton Smith. And all the old timers in the Negro League say, if you're going to get anything, you better get it off of Satchel because you weren't going to touch Hilton Smith. Thanks, Satchel. Nothing. Strike out two batters, pitch two innings. Three innings, two innings. Three innings. Terry. The pitch. Breaking ball through there for a strike. It really does help Smith a disservice to think of him only as Satchel Page's shadow. But Smith always knew he was just as good on the mound, even if Satchel was the box office main attraction. Cole, up to bat next, lays off for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, there are a lot of major leaguers who found out just how good Hilton Smith was, too. We tag and get him. We threw a shutout against the team with Bob Feller, oh, didn't tag. DiMaggio, and Johnny Mize as part of a barnstorming series. And in all three games he pitched, the white player didn't score a single run off of Gordon in the box now. Take strike one. Hilton was so good in interracial games over the years that Mize and Stan Musial both said he had as good a curveball as they've ever seen. High praise coming from two Hall of Fame players. Big spot. Bye-bye. Both the time and go-ahead runs are a bull. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout. One more strikeout in two innings. Can't hold up and that's a strike. Should be pretty easy to get. Comes up empty on the swing. Only two now. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. All right. So wheels and deals. He doesn't get a knock right here. That pitch he just took. And it with a fastball. You might not see another pitch like that from the top level. Oh, well, okay. Next pitch is popped up. Perry racing over to make the catch. Klein in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Oh, my God. I got a hit. Oh, uh, no, wrong. Okay. Drive base hit. Woo! So a two out knock. That woke me up. Everett digs in down. Perfect, perfect. Damn. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and one. I know, play. It's perfect. Perry handles the chip. Come on, dude. Oh, three outs. Never mind. That's the third out. <laughs> I was about to say. He's like taking his time. Center fielder Adams. Righty delivers. And strike two. On my sink piece to get him out of here. Go back home. And a swing and a miss. Two outs to go for Hilton Smith, who's just been terrific in relief of Satchel. And first offering is fouled off. That's crazy. They have both these players on the same team. I'm pretty sure back then, pitch was pitched like every day or so. Swing and a miss. Or every couple of days. Swing and a ball popped up. Puts 
it away for the out. That's crazy. And now the right fielder, Terry. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. All right. And he grounds one to the right side. GG's. Come on, dude. Thank you. Introducing Jack. It is Hilton Smith who is credited with having introduced or recommended Jackie Roosevelt Robinson to Kansas City Monarchs owner James Leslie Wilkinson. Hilton had seen Jackie playing against a white military baseball team that had major league players on it in 1942. He quickly recommended Jackie to Monarchs owner James Leslie Wilkinson. When Jackie gets discharged from the military in 1944, he writes to Monarchs owner J.O. Wilkinson and Wilkie gives him a tryout. He makes the team and he joins the Kansas City Monarchs in 1945. Many credit Hilton Smith for introducing us to the man that would break Major League Baseball's six decade long self-imposed color barrier. Bro, that Kansas City Monarchs team was stacked. Damn. View the card. Three of cards, starting picture pretty good. Nice control that curveball. Crazy. Perfect. Oh, hey, guys. I uh, thank everyone for watching. Uh, we knocked this Hilton Smith out. Next we have up, it's going to be Rude Foster. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Peace out.